हेलो क्रेजी गोडर्स वेलकम टू आर सेकेंड गेम इन आर बिगिनर गेम डेवलपमेंट विथ पाइथन पाई गेम सीरीज एंड फॉर दिस सेकेंड गेम वी हैव चूजन रॉक पेपर सीजर एंड टूडे वी विल मेक द फर्स्ट पार्ट of our game so which will look something like this we have a screen with name rock paper scissors a game we have three text uh, which is your score comp score and a welcome message which says welcome to rock paper scissors a game pick your weapon to start playing and we have three patterns which is rock paper scissors which are actually images and when you pick or click one of the images you can see a rock paper scissor with respect to the click and that is what we are going to make in this first part so to make the first part we are going to learn two important concepts one is rectangles and second is mouse event and to get mouse event is very simple and to use rectangles there are two main purposes one to get more control over placing of surface which are basically images and second to actually understand the collision so you know how we actually get to know that rock is pressed is because of collision and we have used rock as a rectangle even paper even scissor so if you look at this image you know when we convert any surface into rectangle you can place the surface with help of any of the points which are top left mid top top right and all the others points and if you specify a coordinate and the point that particular point will be at that coordinate so this gives us more control over placing of the objects or surfaces whichever you like so now that we have understood the concept which we are going to use let's start coding before starting to code i want to give you a quick overview of our directory which has three folders audio font and graphics and in the audio we will contain all the sound effects which we want to make and we might use in upcoming parts of this game tutorial in the font we have a sunny spells regular.otf file which is a font file and we will generate fonts with help of this file okay and in the graphics we have a lot of files for now but uh, in this for this video we will use blue.png which will be uh, our background and we will use our buttons which is button paper button scissor and button rock and yeah see so this will be our background image and this will be our buttons which are rock paper scissor and we will actually load them before using them okay now i will quickly paste some of the code yeah and uh, what this code basically do is if uh, if i run this file then you can see we have a text basically your score comp score and this we have two text and i made it two just to align them uh, in a very good fashion and the main uh, thing is that we have already learned to do all of these things in our first video uh, so if you have any doubt about it uh, do comment or do watch the previous game tutorial which is our die stimulator and yeah these are very easy things and i will quickly also explain the code yeah that is basically i'm importing pygame yeah, before using pygame we have installed it as well after importing we have initialized it i have made the screen i have set the caption which is a title i have imported so we loaded our background image i have a screen dot it basically we are displaying it at 0 comma 0 top left and i have created a font uh, which has size 33 and from file uh, this which i have already shown and i have created two messages from this font which is uh, welcome back to welcome to and pick your weapon kind of text and i have made this true and this is a color this basically says do you want the smoothness or not that's it and yes for the score i have also created a font but with less uh, font size and i have generated two uh, messages which says your score and we will use it to update a score and uh, we will use in this uh, upcoming parts of this score and then in the while true loop in which our main game will run we have our standard uh, exit logic where we are getting all the events from pi or pygame.event.get and from that event we are checking if event type is quit or not and then if it's quit then we are quitting a pygame which is everything that you have initialized through this the exact opposite is this 
and we are exiting it and if you run this basically what will happen is when you create this axe this event will occur and we will be able to quit our program okay and yes uh, i have just displayed all our you know messages at a particular location and uh, you might just copy paste it and it is very simple as it is so now moving ahead the most important thing is we have to get our button so i will just quickly load up buttons so i have loaded our buttons which are located as graphic button you just have to give the relative path if you are they are in the same uh, directory and that is true in our case we have in graphics uh, we have our three buttons okay i have loaded them and after that to convert them to rec you just have to use get rec function so i will quickly create a variable and after that we just have to use a surface button rock which i'll create and use get rec and in this as i've said you can use a lot of points which i've already shown in that image i will just use top left and i will pass 25 comma 330 as a coordinate so this will create a rectangle and similarly i will just uh, you know duplicate it and i will just paste uh, with other, uh, other variables which are scissor rect and uh, our paper rect and i will just update is at like 225 and 425 so i think this must look good and to display the rectangled surface we just have to do screen dot plate same thing but here we have to provide the surface as well and also the rectangle right. it's the same thing with this same thing for other things we have to screen dot blade and button paper and we have to paper rect yeah same thing with scissor uh you have to screen dot blade uh button scissor and scissor rect yes i think this will be enough to display it on a screen yes we have our buttons now the main functionality we need to add is when we click this button we have to know that this button is clicked so for that we will use the collision functionality of our rectangle basically when you click on this we have to do two things we have to get is button pressed or not so basically mouse pressed or not and also we have to check the but location at where this button is pressed and we have to check that that is that point exist in our uh, image of rock or scissor or a uh, paper okay so for that we will first thing is we will check for the event and to get a mouse event we just have to do event dot type equals equals i game dot mouse button down so this will actually be true when someone has pressed the mouse button to down and now after that we just have to check and we have an uh, amazing uh, event dot pause basic position which gives us where the event has occurred the coordinates of the where event has occurred and we just check if this point is inside our rectangle which um, we can check through collide point for that uh, we just have to do rock collide point okay rock right to collide but this will check if the event point has uh inside the rock right. so basically now this will be true if that's inside it and then we'll print rock okay that's cool and we just repeat it for our other uh buttons which is paper right dot collide point and even dot pause yeah and this will be true again only if paper uh, is pressed that is the event has occurred inside the paper event and also the third one which is scissor rect and this collide point and event dot pause okay yeah same thing and i'll just also print to know that this has pressed and it's working so now if i run this file uh, and i click it you can see here rock is being displayed and similarly with paper paper is being displayed scissor scissor is being dis displayed and when you click other even other places it won't work because we are specifically checking that event type is not down but the event pause should be inside the rock right yes and that's not true if we click at some other places but it's true when we are clicking here so i think we are done for this part In the upcoming parts we will do is we will display our 
you know real icons of like a rock paper scissor and also let a computer decide a weapon for them and then we'll calculate a score and we'll update a score as well basically after calculating who is you know we will update the score accordingly and uh, it will be so much fun we'll also have uh, sound effects as well so stay subscribed and thank you for watching we will catch you up in the next video